Hi everyone. So as React developers, we come across situations where we are supposed to render specific components based on some specific conditions. And in React world, we usually call this conditional rendering. And this conditional rendering can get pretty messy sometimes. So I have this quick application over here. You can see it is rendering just some normal text. I'll take you to the code to get a better understanding of how this is getting rendered. So I have two state variables over here. One of them is basically about the role of the user and the other one is about whether the user is logged in or not. And if you, if you dive deep into the code, you'll see that this authenticated user component is getting rendered only if is logged in flag is true. So if the user is logged in, then only this component will get rendered. And this component only says that I am an authenticated user. And if you move to the second uh, line of the code, you'll see this is a little complicated condition. So this section of the code will only run if is logged in flag is true. So if the user is not logged in, none of this will really run. And if is logged in is true, then you'll get into this section of the code and you'll check if the role of the user is admin or not. If the role of the user is admin, then you'll display the admin component and render I am an admin user text. And if the user is not an admin, the role is not an admin, then you'll render this user component and the text that will be rendered on the screen is I am a normal user. So let me show you a quick demo of the application. If I turn this into false, this particular component won't render and also this condition won't run. So basically we will see nothing on the screen. So if I go over here, you can see this is an empty screen. Now if I quickly change this back to true, you can see that we'll see that it says I am a normal user. That is because the role of the user is currently user and we are checking for admin user. So the role is not equal to admin and which is why we are displaying the user component. And if I quickly change this to admin, you'll get to see I am an admin user on the screen. So this is the quick demo of the application. And personally, I don't prefer doing this in my React code bases because this can get pretty messy at times. Uh, imagine if there were like multiple conditions that you were supposed to go through and check. This will be like a huge condition inside of your JSX and for any other developer that is working parallelly on the same code base, it would take some time for them to understand what conditions are written over here and how the components are getting rendered. And to solve this particular issue, I personally like to create a higher order component. So in React, a higher order component is basically a component that wraps a children component that wraps basically some sort of children components and provides them with some extra functionality so it will be more clear when we dive deep into the code so let's quickly go ahead and code out a higher order component so to solve this issue let's go ahead and create a directory inside source and let's call it hoc for higher order component uh, i think i've already created that directory so yeah hoc directory already exists and inside this directory, let's create a very simple component called conditional renderer .js. So I've created this file called conditional renderer .js and let me quickly uh, create a React component. So this is a very simple React component, okay? Now, what I want to do is, I want this component to act as a wrapper component for all my conditional rendering. And I want this component to take in two arguments. One of the arguments will be is visible. And the second argument, which by default React passes down is children component. So what I want to do is I only want to render this children component when this condition is true. So let's quickly go ahead and do that. We can simply write over here that when is visible is true, then only will render the children component. So this is like a very simple HOC component or a higher order component, but this will really solve the issue of uh, conditional rendering in your entire code base. And it will make the code more explicit and any developer who will be working parallelly with you on the same code base will be able to understand what is going on in the UI and how things are conditionally getting rendered. So let's try and switch this particular part of the code and replace it with the conditional render component that we just created. So for the very first condition, we can see that this particular component will be visible only when is logged in is true. So let's go ahead and import our conditional renderer. And in the is visible prop, I'll pass in the condition of is logged in. And the child component of this 
particular conditional renderer will be this component so let me quickly remove this and what we are basically saying is this style component will only render if this condition is true so this is visible flag should be true for this particular child component to render now let's also switch this particular condition to conditional renderer format so first of all this particular section will only or this particular evaluation will only be done if this particular flag is true or is logged in is true so let's create a wrapper for is logged in variable is visible and will only keep the is logged in flag over here and let's wrap it now inside this is logged in we want to figure out something for this particular condition so let's go ahead and write two conditional renderers one for admin user and one for our normal user so let me quickly go ahead and do that for you just one second i'll quickly copy paste this and in this case i would want the condition to be user now if i quickly comment this out and help you understand this what you're basically doing over here is this particular child will only get rendered if is logged in is true or not so if is if is logged in is true so this particular conditional render handles this section of the condition and once we get in in case of is logged in true we have two conditional renders inside it one of them basically checks if the user if the user role is admin or not and the other one checks if the user role is user or not and based on that we render their ch child components this should be user my bad yep so as you can see with this conditional renderer higher order component our code is very much more explicit now and any other developer who is going to work parallelly on the same code base will be able to figure out how exactly the components will get rendered based on conditions on the ui so i'll just quickly give you a, a recap so for this particular component this section will render only when is logged in is true this particular section will only render if is logged in is true and if is logged in is true then we'll go inside this and this admin component will render only when the role is admin and this user component will render only when the role is user so this makes things pretty clean and uh, very explicit and also it is advisable to write as much as less possible logic inside your jsx so as you can see we are not writing any and and operators or we are not using any ternary operators or if else conditions inside our jsx we are simply using components to render different components so this way you can basically create a simple higher order component for conditionally rendering uh, different components in your screen so i hope you like this uh, simple and clean uh, trick in react and i hope this helps clean your code uh, please let me know if you have any doubts regarding this in the comment section. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.